In this video, we'll be covering the incredibly powerful report module within DigiOp Carbon Loss Prevention and Business Intelligence platform. After using your user credentials to log in to your uh, DigiOp Carbon instance, uh, you would simply select the reports uh, page here, the reports module, and you'd be greeted with the pre-populated reports. Uh, depending on your vertical, uh, you may have uh, pre-populated uh, canned reports that are available based on your vertical. And then you'll also have user reports. So these are user created. The instance that we're looking at today is a hardware retailer with uh, nine locations. And this is his instance. And so these are the specific reports that he's created uh, within DigiOp Carbon. And these are the pre-populated uh, reports that are related to the hardware vertical uh, and along with the compliance reports, which we can touch on here in a moment. But all of these reports in your menu, uh, simply clicking on them, uh, DigiOp Carbon will bring up the information. You can quickly stack rank your locations. Uh, or even your cashiers. So if I wanted to look at my highest offending store uh, and say, can you rank those cashiers at that location? And within just a few clicks, I found my highest offending cashier at my highest offending store. And uh, clicking it once more, I can break it down even further and go all the way down to view those transactions. Uh, so Carbon will line up those transactions from my highest offending uh, cashier at my highest offending store. And should I choose to, I can uh, view those, view the video of those transactions. Uh, so very, very powerful, very, very quick to both see your business at a macro level and see trending information, um, but also to drill down and do investigations from this report sandbox. And there is no cap on the number of reports that can be generated. Um, and these are all very specific and individualized to the user. So a owner may have a different set of reports from a store manager. Uh, so, uh, there's some, so there's some flexibility in there as well. Uh, the other thing that's very interesting is how easy it is to create uh, new reports uh, that are very detailed and very specific. So. Carbon gives you the ability to really create multi-layered reports. So if I choose a date range and let's say I'm looking at the last 30 days and I can choose the axis of my uh, report. So let's say I'm investigating and want to see the performance of my cashier. I would choose exception count and then I would choose a cashier and you can see all the different variables that that could be selected. So I would choose those and next it's going to uh, ask for other filters that I want to see. And I'm very interested in a set list of uh, exceptions. And so these are all the exception types uh, in the carbon instance here. And so let's say I want to look for cash refunds, cash refunds followed by a no sale, um, deposit refund in cash, um, and then um, one penny sale. So I can select any or all of those. Um, and from there, um, I can choose uh, my uh, column type. How do I want to display this information? Do I want a column chart, a bar chart, a line chart, or a pie chart? So uh, Carbon even lets you choose how you want to see and visualize the data. Uh, but for this instance, we'll stick with a column chart. And we'll run that report. And now Carbon is going to look across my entire organization based on the exception types I've selected and rank my cashiers. And it will also, if I want to see all of them, I can scroll this out and you can see the complete list of cashiers in this uh, organization. Um, or you can just look at the highest offenders. It's whatever lens you want to put on your business. So let's say I like that lens. So uh, the next step that I would do is save this report and say it is um, exception cashier 30 day um, and the category would be exceptions and I would save that off and now I have saved that report as easily as that. Um, I could add this report to my dynamic dashboard here in Carbon 
Um, and so this would be a, a standing report and a dynamic report that would update as it moves through time. I could view all of the transactions, which in this instance would be very, very many, or I could export those transactions as well. The other thing that's very interesting from here that you can do as a side note is what we call the threshold line. And this threshold line, as you can see, I can move this around and I can decide what is the median, what is an acceptable level for this particular exception type, this report. And so if I look through here, I may say that I want to be notified if anyone exceeds 29. Um, and so you can save that report and now I have this this threshold line uh, saved and from there Carbon can notify you if and when anyone exceeds uh, the number 29 um, in a 30-day period Carbon can notify you via email uh, so again, very, very powerful. So while you're in here looking at reports, doing investigations, you can set thresholds for different exception criteria and then be notified when cashiers exceed those uh, criteria. So very, very powerful. Again, very, uh, very, very flexible um, and lots of interesting things that you can do. Uh, in this uh, in this reports module. Uh, another interesting one is the product UPC and you can um, look for um, you know a variety of different UPCs so you can run reports on the performance of uh, promotions or discounts. Uh, you could look at, um, you know, transactions that, uh, in this instance, it's hardware. So you could look for, uh, you know, performance on paint, or you could look for performance on a variety of UPCs in your locations and see how each store is performing against each other. So you know where maybe they, they might need some help. So uh, again, very, very flexible, very powerful, everything from loyalty card to time of day uh, to uh, different transaction counts can be um, reviewed uh, and investigated through Digiop Carbon's uh, very powerful uh, report page. So uh, that is an overview of the report module within Digiop Carbon and we look forward to seeing you on another video.